Hi, my name is Jutta and today I will show you three ways of making a shamrock brush in Procreate. With St. Patrick's Day being just a few days away, I thought it's a great idea to share some good luck with all of you involving Ireland's national symbol. First things first, a shamrock always has three leaves only, whereas a clover can have four. So if you prepare something for the Irish St. Patrick's Day, make sure you are using shamrocks, not clover leaves. All right, let's start and procreate with the simples brush, a shamrock stamp. Open up a square canvas of 2000 pixel length. You could go ahead and sketch out your shape, being as realistic as you like. I want to make sure I stay loose and let my hand draw a random organic shape, so I go without a sketch. Pick a pure black value by double tapping in the black area. Make sure you verify your U by switching over to value and check if the RGB sliders are at the very left. Draw three heart shapes with any brush you like. You could use the monoline brush for a crisp outline. I am using the little pine brush from the drawing set for some jagged edge and a textured appearance. Tap and hold the eraser to pick the same brush for erasing. Draw the stem and ink out all the shapes. With snapping enabled, place your shamrock shape in the center of the canvas. Open the copy and paste menu. If you are using Procreate's default setting, you will find that with a three finger swipe down. Tap copy all. Create a new brush set in the brush library by pulling down the list and tap the plus. Name your brush set. Tap the plus sign on the top right and start a new brush. Go to Shape and Edit Shape. Tap Import and Paste. Tap with two fingers to invert the colors. Tap Done. Move to Stroke Path and decrease the spacing. Set spacing to about 65%, that way you can use it both as a stamp but also as a chain. Back in the shape menu, you could enable randomize, flip X and Y to add some unpredictable randomness to your brush. We'll need that later, but for now I keep it turned off. This is how it would look as a chain. Move down to Apple Pencil and set opacity to zero. In properties, you adjust the maximum size to your liking. Name your brush and tap Done. The stamp is done! Let's try it out with a green color. Gorgeous! Let's move on to the next brush, the orderly pattern. Go to the wrench tool, canvas and turn on drawing guide. Edit Drawing Guide, pick Symmetry and within the option choose Quadrant as we want to use the crossed lines as a guide. In our layers, we disable the Drawing Assist though. Pick the pure black value again. And with our shamrock stamp, we stamp a leaf in the first box. Adjust the size until you like the result. Then place the shape in the center of this box. Rotate canvas by 90 degree. Stamp the next shamrock. Fill the two remaining boxes the same way. This is how your canvas should look like now. Open the copy and paste menu. Tap Copy All. Start a new brush. Go to Grain, Edit, Import and Paste. In 
invert the colors with the two finger tap and tap done. Enable texturized and adjust the size to your liking. As we did before, turn down opacity and adjust the maximum brush size. Name your brush and here we go. This is how it looks. And if you're not happy with the leaf size, you can adjust it in the brush studio under grain and scale. And our last brush will be the random pattern brush. We'll start by changing the settings of our shamrock stamp because we want our leaves to appear in random directions. In the brush studio, we enable randomize, flip X and flip Y. Pick the black value again. We want to fill a diamond shaped area with our leaves. Adjust the brush size and stamp away. With the monoline brush, draw a dot in two opposite corners and duplicate this layer four times. For easier transformation, I will turn off the visibility of the lower layers. Then I move my top layer to the top left corner until the yellow lines appear. Now we'll move the remaining layers the same way in each of the corners. Don't forget to delete the corner dots. Now pinch these four layers together to have them all on one layer. On a new layer, we fill the diamond shape in the center and amend the placement of the leaves until we're happy with the result. We have created a seamless pattern now. Let's check if we worked accurately. Pinch the two layers together and duplicate it four times. This time we move the corners into the center until they snap to decrease each layer by half. If we can't see any seams in our centered leaves, we are good to go. Go back to the original layer below. Open the copy and paste menu and copy all. Start a new brush. Go to Grain and paste our copied image. Invert the colors. Proceed with the same steps as we did before. Tap Done! Let's try it out! Yay! It looks fantastic! I hope you'll give these brushes a try and create lots of St. Patrick's Day related art with it. Remember to share your work on social media and tag me too that I can feature you in my stories. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to not miss any of my future videos. And of course, don't forget to like this video and share it with all your creative friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!